The Investor 101 Series with Larry Berman. Brought to you by National Bank Direct Brokerage. Hi, I'm Larry Berman. Welcome to the Investor 101 Series. Today, we're going to look at the difference between active ETFs and passive ETFs. There are passively managed ETFs. These are simple index tracking ETFs that have the lowest cost. The more complex the strategy, the higher the costs are going to be. If an ETF tracks an international market, the cost may be a little bit higher. The more difficult it is to track the index, the higher the cost may be. Actively managed ETFs include strategies that often have teams of traders or analysts or portfolio managers behind them. Simply, the costs are going to be higher. The results, however, are not guaranteed to be better than passive strategies. When we compare the cost of ETFs versus traditional mutual funds, the biggest difference here is the fee of the advisor. In traditional mutual funds, the fees are typically included. In ETFs, there are no fees for advice. But the biggest cost of any investment is a poor emotional decision that often comes along with higher volatility. If you like this video, please remember to hit subscribe on the button below. And don't forget to click the notification button so you're the first to know when we post new content. Thanks for watching. Visit nbdb.ca for low commission fees and free ETF trading. Thanks for watching.